Adam Bell, it is Pit Caleb again here, and this is video number two in our series on the brand new 2018 CSC City Slicker. First video was up on up online earlier today. It's the unboxing, or rather, it's the uncreating. Uh, so now it's our first look. Honestly, uh, since that last video, I have eaten dinner. I've gone to the DMV and gotten a license plate, and waited for a camera person to come and help me out. So I have not turned this on. And uh, if you come over here. I haven't even taken the keys off of the handlebars. They're zip tied on. So uh, I think these are our keys. So let's uh, let's see what we got here. These are funky keys. So come on over. Ooh, like a switchblade. So if we uh, come over here. We have one mile on the odometer and a 69% charge. That's nice. It is 10 degrees C out here, but that's because we're inside of a, an attached garage. I just asked Google and she told me that it was 35 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, I don't think uh, it's quite as warm as she thinks it is. So let's see what we got here. Uh, let's start over on the right. Um, just feeling it as I'm pushing it around. Someone asked, it, it, it feels like the right brake uh, the right lever does the rear brake and the front does the front brake. So it's like a traditional American bicycle, not the same as a, uh, uh, a, a motorcycle. So that is going to be something to get used to for those of you who have motorcycled for quite a while. Myself, I haven't been on a motorcycle in 30 years. You can do the math on how long you think I am. Um, and so I don't have to worry about reaching for the clutch or trying to shift or figuring out my brakes because it's just like a bicycle for me. So if we come back over, on the right thumb, we have our eco power switch. Um, in eco mode, uh, this will go up to 35 miles an hour, 37 miles an hour. And in power mode, it'll go up to 47-ish. Um, and uh, it will conserve power as it gets to that through the acceleration band here as well. Uh, this is my high beams. Oh, no, you can turn the lights off, apparently. Is there a parking way? Oh, there's a little... So it's a driving, nope, I have no idea what the, those two slits do, or maybe that's, I don't know, I should probably read the manual, eh? Um, oh, that is, the, that is the parking brake, which I believe I may have just disengaged. I don't know why we have a parking brake. All right, let me scooch on this side, please. <clears throat> this is our, our on-off button. Oh, here are our high beams. What? Hold on a second. That's strange because it looks like our high beams are here. So that's our low beams. That's our high beams. So I'm not 100% sure what the uh, switch on the right is. Um, I wonder if some of this stuff doesn't work unless it's on. Um, we do have a turn signal. I do like the, the look on the back end of this thing. It's a pretty nice look. And these are our brake lights. Um, I think this is supposed to be the horn, but maybe the horn doesn't operate unless the car is actually, or the bike is actually running. Um, what else do you think we need to know before, uh, before our first little run around the neighborhood? This is our tank. So this is going to be our plugs. I'm assuming this is our power cord. Thank you, mirrors. Huh. Good thing I didn't drop them. So we can put our side view mirrors on. Alright, again, good enough for right now. Alright, let's see what else we got in our little bag of goodies here.
guessing this is a little repair kit. Yep, it's a little mini tool set. And some manuals and some information like that. I'm going to set that to the side for right now. What else did we have in here? All right, so here is the chart. This looks like an old power supply from a computer, to be honest. You have mounted somewhere. Uh, so we have a normal 110 outlet and a normal, uh, normal plug on this. And if you come over here, there is our outlet. So we would plug the output of the charger in here and then plug the brick into the wall and we're good to go. So the instructions that came with it were clear that it is to be driven down to zero the first time and then you charge it. So right now, like I wouldn't take it to work. It's got 69%. Uh, percent. I don't think I'd make it to work and back. They want us to drive it down to nothing, then we can charge it after that, after that first time. So I think there's only one thing left to do tonight, and that would be to gear up and at least drive it around the neighborhood. I think it would be irresponsible for me to not do that. Listen to the noise. I must say, first of all, it's very cold riding in a hoodie at 35 degrees out. But that was fun. I can't wait to use this on a real ride and actually go somewhere with a purpose. And uh, I have a feeling it's not going to get too many miles by, uh, by next spring. But it is what it is. You can hear it. It's definitely quiet. It was like uh, riding a bicycle, but faster and not having to put any effort into it. And um, a lot of people had asked, I'm 5'11". 180 pounds and a lot of people ask is it a toy how big is it so this is what 511 180 pounds looks like um, I feel good on it it doesn't feel small um, I have not ridden a Harley or anything else so it, uh, I'm, I'm a bad gauge of any of that and the one more uh, treat for you guys this is a a little tap of the dash And it goes backwards. Great for parking, get, great for getting out of my garage. So that's your first look at the CSC City Slicker. When the weather turns and when I get it out for rides, trust me, you'll see more. We'll put some GoPros on here, focusing at the dash to try to track the uh, I don't want to say the, the mileage, the watts per mile, what we're getting. Um, but it's fun. It's everything I thought it would be right now. I can't wait to get it on the open road. It is cold, though. It's 35 degree weather, but I'm sure those of you who bike know that. So, pick Caleb signing off. I'll talk to you later.